First one comes from Cassie, and Cassie says, Hi Raphael, I have a question about Pilates as an exercise modality for Parkinson's disease. And more specifically, if you know of examples of stage four Parkinson's disease using Pilates exercises. Thanks, Cassie. Uh, Well, Cassie, I uh, did some digging and I found uh, some good news, basically. Uh, So I found three systematic reviews and the first one was from 2018 and it was, uh, it examined exercise um, for Parkinson's disease and they had had two conditions, one where they used an external cue, another one where they gave no specific cue and or an internal cue and the final one where there was no exercise. Uh, And what they measured, the outcomes in this systematic review where they looked at studies that measured um, walking speed, um, average, so average walking speed, uh, maximum walking speed, sit to stand time, uh, step length. And what they found was that basically the external cue uh, condition was superior to both the non-exercise condition and also to exercise without specific cues or with internal cues. So uh, what that suggests is you should work on um, with your Parkinson's disease patient or client is uh, practice walking, practice sit to stand um, and give them external cues like, you know, step on that dot on the floor or walk towards the wall or those kinds of things, Um, you know, lift your shoes higher as you step. So those kinds of things, cues that focus on a result of the movement that bring their attention to a point outside their body. And um, that will be more effective. The second systematic review I found uh, that look, they looked at home-based exercise compared to exercise done under supervision. And what they found was they were equally effective for Parkinson's disease. Uh, and they were looking at balance um, parameters. So, um, you know, walking, stationary standing, different um, parameters around balance. Uh, And so home-based exercise can be just as effective. Uh, And the third review I found was on mind-body exercises. Now, this wasn't actually didn't include any studies on Pilates. It uh, was focused on yoga and Tai Chi and Qigong. Um, But my gut is we could probably smoosh Pilates in um, there quite comfortably. Uh, and so what they found was that mind-body exercise does improve, and this was in the, uh, the short term, like immediately after um, the exercise session, does improve many parameters of Parkinson's disease. Um, so, you know, they looked at balance, they looked at walking speed, they looked at sit to stand, um, you know, things like that. So uh, what I would suggest, you know, how do we interpret all of that? Well, I would say that uh, Pilates is really probably going to be beneficial for or almost certainly going to be beneficial for your Parkinson's uh, uh, person um, and that you should probably include two components within the workout. One should be probably a specific uh, you know, skill practice of the thing, the activities that they need to improve. So walking, sit to stand, balancing activities. But not. I'm not talking about standing on one leg on a BOSU. I mean like just the sorts of balancing activities that they need to do in their daily life, like standing still on two feet on a flat surface for a few minutes while they wash the dishes or whatever. So walking upstairs, walking downstairs, those kinds of things. Practice those using external cues. So focus on cues that relate to the environment, giving them giving them cues about where to put their shoes, you know, place the sole of your shoe on the second step, walk towards the wall lift the cr- the crease of your pants leg higher as you walk you know give them cues that bring their focus of attention outside their body the second part of the work or the second component of the workout should i think just be a general pilates workout because um, of that study that you know, that review that found mind body exercise is beneficial so just do general whole body you know pilates work Again, I would focus on external cueing during that, so cueing them to bring their attention to a point outside their body, but just and just work work through the Pilates repertoire, you know, within their capability, whatever their level of function and fitness and flexibility is. You know, give them appropriately modified things that are attainable for them. 
Um, so yeah, I hope, I hope you find that helpful and uh, good luck. Thank you.